Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a boy applique. I've had a couple of requests to design a boy. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, the large one, the size is 9cm wide by 19cm or 3.5 inches wide by 7.5 inches. The medium boy crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5mm hook is 5cm wide by 12cm or 2 inches wide by 4 and 3 quarter inches. The small boys crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1mm hook are 4 centimetres wide by 9 centimetres or 1.5 inches wide by 3.5 inches. I'll be using Katona cotton today, so the size will be a bit smaller than the large boy. I'll tell you the size at the end of the video. I'll be using Katona cotton. I've got 115 hot red, 162 black coffee, 130 old lace and 254 moon rock. I've got scissors a 2.5mm crochet hook, a darning needle to weave in the ends and sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together and the black is to embroider on the markings. Now we'll start on the head at the bottom there. I've got my 130 the old lace and we work four chain. We work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet we put the hook in the second chain from the hook and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through both loops. And then we're going to work one double crochet in the next chain. That's to give it a bit of shaping for the chin. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook. Take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Yarn around the hook. Hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. And then one single crochet into the last stitch. For row two we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 2 single crochet into the first stitch, 1 single crochet into each of the next 3 stitches, and 2 single crochet into the last stitch. For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each of our 7 stitches. For row 5 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches. So we put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. Hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. 
then we work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches and a join single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch. We'll work one half double crochet into the next stitch. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet we put the yarn around the hook hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one double crochet into the following stitch. That's a treble using UK terms. Then one half double crochet into the next stitch and a single crochet into the last stitch. And that's the head done except for the neatening row. For the neatening row we start with one chain, we don't turn and we work one single crochet in each stitch around our work. So just find a suitable place not too far from the edge to put your hook and work a single crochet in each stitch around. Now if you prefer you could work two single crochet in the end for the chin. I'm just working over the top of this tail here, just holding it against my work and working it out, working over the top of it. When we get back to the beginning of the row we slip stitch in the top of the first stitch so we just put our hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook and then we fasten off. And that's the head done. Now for the hair I've got my 162, the black coffee, and we start with 6 chain. For row 1, we work 1 single crochet in the second chain from the hook, 1 half double crochet into the next chain. One double crochet into the following chain, one half double crochet into the next chain and a single crochet into the last chain. The different stitches just gives it a bit of a curve for the top of the head. For row two we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. And 
and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row three we start with three chain. We miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the two remaining chain. And then just spin your work around and slip stitch in, into the second stitch. So not the first, but that second one there. And then work two chain and slip stitch into the next stitch. Then work one chain and slip stitch into the following stitch. Work one chain and slip stitch into the next stitch and then work two chain and slip stitch into the next stitch. Then work three chain. We miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the last two chain. And then slip stitch into the last stitch. And that's the hair unneatened. Now we're just going to work a single crochet in each stitch up around the top of the head to the start of row three. And I'm just going to slip stitch just at the top of that, the chain there, and fasten off. And that's the hair done. Now we're going to start on the bottom of the shirt and we'll join all the other parts to the shirt and then the shorts. So I've got my 115 the hot red and we start with 8 chain For row 1 we miss the first chain and work 1 single crochet into each remaining chain. We'll have 7 stitches For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of our 7 stitches. For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each stitch.
For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 1 single crochet in each of the first 3 stitches. A joined single crochet over the next 2 stitches. And 1 single crochet in each of the last 2 stitches. For row 5 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 1 single crochet into each of the 6 stitches. And then we work 3 chain. That's for the first sleeve. For row 6 we miss the first chain and work 1 single crochet in each of the 2 remaining chain. And then 1 single crochet in each of the 6 stitches. Then work 3 chain. For row 7 we miss the first chain and work 1 single crochet in each of the 2 remaining chain and then 1 single crochet in each of the 8 remaining stitches. For row 8 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 10 stitches. For row 9 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches. 1 single crochet in each of the next 6 stitches. and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the eight stitches. For row 11 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches. 1 single crochet in each of the next 4 stitches.
and to join single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 12 we start with two chain and turn. Now we're going to work a joined half double crochet and single crochet over the first two stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. We've got three loops on the hook. We put our hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. There's now four loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one slip stitch into each of the next two stitches. So put your hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook and work another one like that. Then we're going to work a joined single crochet and half double crochet over the last two stitches. So put your hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, then yarn around the hook and put your hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. There's four loops on the hook, put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Now that just gives the shape of the neck. Now we can start with one chain and you can either work a slip stitch in each stitch around or you could work one single crochet in each of the first two stitches just to give a bit more shape to the shoulders and then work a slip stitch in each stitch around. Now we need two stitches down the sleeve to join our arm to. So I'm going to work a slip stitch in the side of the last stitch and then one chain tightly and then slip stitch into the two stitches along so I can work my arm into those two stitches and then just work the slip stitches down the side. Now I'll do the same along the bottom. I'll slip stitch in the side, do a chain tightly and then work one slip stitch in each stitch along the bottom. There should be eight stitches. or at least seven stitches and then at the end just slip stitch in the side there one chain tightly and then work the slip stitches up the side to the end of the sleeve We'll need two slip stitches along the end of the sleeve to work the, the arm into. And then at the side of the sleeve I'll work one chain tightly and work a slip stitch into that same stitch. And I'll just work a single crochet near the top.
and then just slip stitch just in the top of the last row there. And fasten off. And that's the shirt done. I'll weave in the ends and then I'll be back and we'll work the neck and then the shorts. Now for the neck, I've got my 130, the old lace, and we're going to work the neck over five stitches around the neck part. So join in one stitch at the side and start with two chain. Now we'll work a joined half double crochet over the same stitch as the join and the next stitch. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the same stitch as the join and bring up a loop, then yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we're going to work one double crochet into the next stitch. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. And then work a joined half double crochet over the following two stitches. Now that's as big as our neck needs to be but I'm going to work two more rows of single crochet just to stitch in behind the head. So we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the three stitches. And then another row the same, one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the three stitches. And fasten off. And that's the neck done. Now the shorts are going to be worked over the middle six stitches along the bottom of the shirt. So I join in the second stitch. I'll be using my 254 The Moon Rock. We start with one chain and I'm working into the back loops only. We work two single crochet in the same stitch as the join. One single crochet into each of the next four stitches. and two single crochet into the following stitch. For row two we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the eight stitches. For row 3 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet 
into each stitch. For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 2 single crochet into the first stitch, 1 single crochet into the next stitch and a joined single crochet over the following 2 stitches. For row 5 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 4 stitches. For row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 1 single crochet in each of the first 2 stitches. and one half double crochet into each of the last two stitches. For row 7 we start with 2 chain and turn, we work one half double crochet into each of the first two stitches. And one single crochet into each of the last two stitches. and we fasten off. For the second side of the short we join in the first stitch of row 3. and start with 1 chain, we work 2 single crochet in the same stitch as the join one single crochet into the next stitch and a join single crochet over the following 2 stitches For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 4 stitches. For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 1 single crochet in each of the first 2 stitches. and one half double crochet in each of the last two stitches. For row 4 we start with 2 chain and turn and work one half double crochet into each of the first two stitches and one single crochet into each of the last two stitches and then we fasten off and that's the shorts except for the neatening row I'll weave in these ends and I'll be back and we'll work the neatening row now for the neatening row we join in the first stitch just up in there at the top of the shorts and we're going to work slip stitches round the shorts
Now just work a slip stitch in the side of the first stitch along the end of the short leg and then a chain tightly and we'll need four stitches along the bottom of the short leg for the leg to go into. And then work your one chain tightly and your slip stitches down the leg. And we work around just to the waist there, the, the top of the short. So I'll do the rest of that off camera and weave in my ends and we'll be back and we'll start on the legs. Now that's the shorts neatened. I'm going to start on this right leg first. I've got my 130, the old lace, and I join in the back loop only of the second stitch along the leg. Now I'm going to leave a long tail to leave at this side to use for the neatening row. Now I've probably got about 20 inches. I'd rather have too much than too little. Um, the legs aren't all that big to work around. It depends on how thick your yarn is as to how much you need. We start with one chain. We work one single crochet in the same stitch as our chain and then one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. For row two we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the three stitches. For row three we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch and a joined single crochet over the next two stitches. For row four we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the two stitches. For row five we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the two stitches. For row 7 we start with two chain and turn. We work one half double crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet into the last stitch. For row 8 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet into the last stitch. And for row 9 we start with two chain and turn and work a joined half double crochet over the three stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop, then yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops and we fasten off. And that's the leg done. For the neatening row, we bring up a loop and work one chain tightly and then work one slip stitch in each stitch around the leg. Work your slip stitches quite loosely. We don't want to make bring our leg in any more. So 
So just try to stretch it out as you're working. And then just slip stitch in the side of the top of the leg in the shorts there and fasten off. And that's the first leg done. I'll weave in the ends and I'll be back and we'll work this next leg. Now for this second leg, I'll be leaving a long tail and this time we join in the first stitch. I'll join in the back loop only again. And we start with one chain, we work one single crochet in the same stitch as the chain and then one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. For row two we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the three stitches. For row three we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch and a joined single crochet over the next two stitches. For row 4 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the two stitches. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the two stitches. For row 7 we start with two chain and turn. We work one half double crochet in the first stitch and one single crochet into the last stitch. For row 8 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet into the last stitch. For row 9 we start with two chain and turn and work a joined half double crochet over the three stitches. And we fasten off. And that's the leg unneedened. And the neatening row is work the same as the other one. Just bring up a loop and work a chain quite tightly and then work one slip stitch in each stitch around quite loosely so you're not pulling your leg in. 
so I'll work the rest of the neatening row off camera, weaving the ends and I'll be back and we'll work the shoes. Now for my shoes I'm going to work them the same colour as the shorts. So I've got my 254 the moon rock and firstly I'll join just at the top of the foot part in the back loop only and we just work one slip stitch in each stitch around the foot until we're even with the join. That looks about even so I'll fasten that one off. And the other one has worked the same. Just join at the top of the foot. and work one slip stitch in each stitch around the foot until you're even with the other side. And that looks even. And that's the outside part of the shoes done. I'll weave in those ends and I'll be back and we'll work the strap. Now for the strap across it you could just work chain if you'd like a thin strap but I'm going to work some chain and some slip stitches. So I've got my moon rock and I'll leave a little bit of a tail at the beginning to stitch it down and I'll work four chain and slip stitch across in the side of that stitch there, the second one down and then slip stitch in each chain and fasten off. And the strap just stitches across like that. And the other strap has worked the same. I leave a bit of a tail, work four chain, slip stitch in the stitch on the other side, two down and then slip stitch back across the chain
and pass them off. So I'll just stitch the straps on and weave in the ends so they don't get in the way when we're working the arms. And that's the shoes finished. Now for the first arm, the right arm, we join in the back loop of the first stitch at the end of the sleeve. I'm going to leave a long tail again for the arm. And we start with one chain We work one single crochet in the same stitch as the join and one single crochet into the next stitch. For row two we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the two stitches. For row 3 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 4 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch and one half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 5 we start with 2 chain and turn. We work 1 half double crochet into the first stitch and 1 single crochet into the last stitch. For row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the 2 stitches. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into the stitch. For row 8 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into our stitch. For row 9 we start with three chain and turn and we're going to work a three double crochet cluster in the stitch. We put the yarn around the hook hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, then yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, then yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops and then we fasten off. And that's the arm done except for the neatening row. Now the neatening rowers work the same. You can bring up a loop and work one slip stitch in each stitch around. Now just for this bend for the elbow I hold my work in the shape I want it to go so I don't pull it out of shape. So it's got a bit of a bend in it. And then I'll just continue working a slip stitch in each stitch around. So I'll work the rest of the neatening row off camera, weave in the ends and I'll be back and we'll work this second arm. Now for the second arm we leave a long tail again 
and we join in the first stitch but we're joining on the wrong side so just in there and work one chain work one single crochet in the same stitch as our join and then one single crochet in the next stitch For row 2 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the two stitches For row 3 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch For row 4 we start with one chain and turn we work one single crochet into the first stitch and one half double crochet into the last stitch For row 5 we start with two chain and turn and work one half double crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet into the last stitch for row 6 we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the two stitches For row 7 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into the stitch For row 8 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into our stitch and for row 9 we start with 3 chain and turn and work a 3 double crochet cluster over oh, into our stitch sorry so we put the yarn around the hook hook into the stitch and bring up a loop yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through 2 loops yarn around the hook hook into the stitch and bring up a loop yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two loops then yarn around the hook hook into the stitch and bring up a loop yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops and then fasten off And that's the second arm done. I should have worked over the tail for the first row to take it to the other side. So I'll just weave it into the other side and then work my neatening a row around the arm. And I'll weave in the ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now there's the pieces, I've got the body, the head and the hair. The first things I'll do is attach the hair to the head just up in there and I'm going to embroider pockets on the shorts just down around there on each side and I'll embroider it on a zip so it's one straight line down and then on the other side a straight line that curves then curve at the bottom and I'll just put a line about three rows for the sleeve on each side next I'll embroider on the eyes nose and mouth I'm not very good at the embroidery so I hope I can do a reasonable job the last thing I do is attach the head to the neck I just have the bottom row showing so in about there so I'll attach that and I'll be back to show you the finished boy there's the finished boy applique the size is six and a half centimeters wide by fifteen and a half centimeters or two and a half inches wide by six inches if you've liked my video please like subscribe and share 
I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.